welcome back to my mom life. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Jordan and today we are making copycat nutter butter cookies. So today I am sharing a recipe with you for these homemade nutter butter cookies. Of course they're not going to be exactly like nutter butter cookies, but these are such a good homemade version. So I hope that you try them. I will have the recipe and everything written out for you in the description box. So let's get started. Here are all of the ingredients that we need to make the cookie part of these nutter butters. So I have flour, just regular all-purpose flour, white sugar, brown sugar, creamy peanut butter, vanilla, salt, baking soda, baking powder, two eggs, and two sticks of butter. I will have all of the measurements and everything written out for you in the description box. Let's get started making the cookie dough portion and then we will make the filling in a little bit. I went ahead and got out my stand mixer just to make this a little easier on myself. You could definitely do this with a hand mixer or by hand if you preferred. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in the butter. And this is softened butter. And to the butter, I'm gonna go ahead and add in our sugar, our white sugar and brown sugar. So we need one cup of each. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in our one cup of peanut butter. Now we want to beat this until it is light and fluffy and creamy. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna add in our eggs and vanilla. Beat this until it is combined and then we'll add in our dry ingredients. All right, it is nice and all combined. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in our flour. We need two and a half cups of flour. And then one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna give this a mix, and as soon as it comes together, we'll put this on some plastic wrap, and we're gonna refrigerate this dough for at least an hour. So our dough has come together, and like I said, we are going to pop this on some plastic wrap, wrap it up, and then put it in the fridge to chill because this dough needs to chill. It's very soft, and if you were to try and make the peanut shape, this would just spread all over your cookie pan and just make a big mess. So I'm gonna get some plastic wrap and refrigerate this, and then I'll see you back here in an hour. Okay, my cookie dough has been chilling for quite a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and start shaping our cookies. 
This part takes a little bit of time and practice, but you're gonna take some cookie dough and you wanna keep them all about the same size because you're gonna make sandwiches out of them. So we want them all about the same size and you're gonna roll it into a log like this. And then I have some white sugar over here. I am just gonna roll my little cookie dough log in the white sugar. I have my cookie sheet that I have lined with a silicone mat and I am just going to, you can just do this on a regular cookie sheet if you want. And I'm gonna take a fork and put a little crisscross pattern on each side of our little peanut shaped cookie and then pinch in the sides. So I'm gonna continue that for all of our cookies. It's gonna take me a little bit, but it is so worth it. So I will speed this up for you so that you don't have to watch me painstakingly roll out all of this dough. All right, I have one tray ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the freezer or the fridge just to let them kind of set um, and get a little bit chilled before we pop it in the oven. They will hold their shape better if they go in cold. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna keep going and work on the next tray. So my dough has been chilling in the fridge for about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in a 375 degree oven for about eight minutes. And then we will take them out, transfer them to some foil or cooling rack or something, and then continue making our dough. I did pop the rest of my dough in the freezer or the fridge just to keep it cool while these are baking because I can't do anything with it until I have my cookie sheets back. So I'm gonna bake the cookies up and then we will make the filling. While my cookies were cooling, I went ahead and made the filling. For the filling, you need some milk or half and half, powdered sugar, butter that is at room temperature, salt, creamy peanut butter, and some vanilla. All you really do is blend all of the ingredients together. I will have the measurements for you in the description box. I'm gonna start with the peanut butter and butter and get my hand mixer out and beat those together until they are smooth and creamy and then I will add in the rest of our ingredients.
I went ahead and put the filling in a piping bag. I like to do that for control and I just find that it's easier for me to fill the cookies this way, but you could definitely just use a knife or a spatula, whatever you want. And I paired my cookies up with ones that fit them the best. <laughs> so because these are handmade, they're all different sizes and shapes. So I did my best to keep them all the same size, but I did go through and kind of pair up the ones that were best matched. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some filling on my cookies and then sandwich them together. I like to keep the filling in the center of the cookie. You can kind of see as I'm piping, I pipe more in the center. That way when you squish them together, it's not totally seeping out of the cookie. I had a little helper with me, so she was begging me for some frosting, so I let her have some. These are our finished copycat Nutter Butter cookies. They turned out absolutely amazing. Like I said in the intro, they're not gonna be exactly like Nutter Butter because they're not gonna have that super hard, crunchy, crunchy peanut butter cookie, but these are a really, really yummy homemade version. Thank you so much for watching my video today. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you subscribe and stick around and I will see you on my next one. Bye guys.